So let's briefly talk about how we would design this supply of labor curve that we're going to be using during this course. Again, L versus the real wage. And we're gonna just be looking at the upward sloping part of this supply curve. So what exactly does this mean, right? We have some level of the wage that's offered and therefore this would be the amount of labor that we would see in the market. If we wanna talk about shifts of this curve, right? We said that there's two different shift variables when it comes to the supply of labor. The first one being the number of workers. So a change in the number of workers. So this can be like if the birth or death rate increases, maybe some structural changes, some immigration policies, things like that. And the second one is any sort of change to our wealth or expected wealth, right? Because if we expect to be wealthier or if we become wealthier, we may want to work less. So when we're talking about shifts, remember, we want to shift to the right would be an increase or to the left would be a decrease. So we're holding the real wage fix and we're seeing more people enter the labor market or people leave the labor market. That's how we're going to be looking at the supply of labor and the two shifts that we're going to be talking about.